what's up family this is sister Moniz again and it is always a pleasure when you stop in by and thank you for all my subscribers and my new subscribers thank you for all your support all your love and this is my family dinner so you know every time I'm cooking something for my family I am sharing it with you and let's go take time and have a seat let's watch this video together this is my rice this I'm making a black rice this is um, Haitian apis onions that I'm putting together in this oil <clears throat> this is llama beans so I'm going to cook it and now I am cleaning my basmati rice so while my um, beans is cooking then this is it is time to add my rice but I am going to add one tablespoon of adobo and this is bell peppers that I'm adding and this is garlic powder that I'm adding to it and garlic powder clove powder and I mix it very well family and you seasoning your food um, however you want it okay and this is mushroom water this is black mushroom water that I don't have no fresh mushroom so I'm using the water this is what I find in the Caribbean store so and I wanna eat black rice so and I add my rice family I am not measuring my food especially my rice when i'm cooking it since i've been in the kitchen for so long i already know the right measure so i do not measure it and depend of your family size too so you cook depend on family size and if you are someone you want me measure it, measure it to you just let me know okay let me know i can do another rice and measure it for you so you can you can know the right measurement for your rice but usually when after you put the water when you stick your um spoon and if it's ten by itself that's mean the is not gonna be soapy so now this is my coconut water one can of coconut water that i'm adding but you can add fresh coconut water and this is um hot pepper and I put salt, you add your salt, depend how much salt you you eat. And this is how much salt I eat. I mean, my family eats, okay? I am not cooking for diet right now. This is my family food. I am cooking for a regular people who is not doing no diet, okay? And this is a um, pestle. I mess it and put it to it. I can I can put it another way, but this is the way I like to put it right now. And this is my rice, okay? And I am going to cover it and let it cook. So let it cook on low. <coughs> and my black rice, it is done, okay? Let me know if you want, do not understand it. Let me know. As you can see, I did not let the water boil before I put the rice. I put a fry the rice and then add boiling water to it. Okay. So now my rice, it is done. So let's go to the next step. The next step for the meat. Okay. Mm, I wish you were in the kitchen so you can see. You can smell the food. So now it's time for me to clean up my chicken. So I am not taking all the fat. I'm just taking the, the white part that I do not eat. And I'm washing it with lemon vinegar and scrub it really well with the lemon. And I'm not going to take the, all the fat off the chicken because I'm going to need it. This is how I make my pica pollo chicken. This is a pica pollo chicken that I'm making. It's not a regular Haitian fried chicken. Okay? I rinse it out. 
but if you are someone you don't want to wash your chicken it's okay but us Haitian or other culture we wash our chicken this is how we used to it so now this is all the spice that I'm going to use on my chicken you see I have two eggs black pepper paprika Haitian piece heavy whipped cream so this is lemon pepper and garlic paprika so I use everything to make my chicken taste good this is master so but you know how you seasoning your meat you use the same seasoning you use in your kitchen but this is my kitchen this is the seasoning that I'm using okay as I said I'm not cooking for diet I am cooking for regular people and this is olive oil this is rosemary olive oil that I'm mixing with it so I'm mixing it really well and this bowl I'm putting everything on it all the seasoning and then to add my chicken now it's time to add my heavy whipped cream so yeah make sure i mix you mix it very well see how it look like now make it well come by like a paste and then now i add the eggs to it too and I even add the um, tin milk powder on it too. So now it's time for me to add my clean chicken on it. Okay. And after I add my chicken, I'm going to let it rest. The longer you leave your chicken in the seasoning, the better taste it has. I'm going to cover it and let it rest. Yes, this is my Pika Poyo seasoning. But this is so many ways you can make it. This is my way. And this is plastic bags. I don't have no ziplock around the house. So, you got to use what you have around your house, okay? I have a plastic bag, so I use it. I put all my seasoning on it. All my dry seasoning on it. So, and check on the description box, so I might be put some description. Everything I use on this chicken. Then my oil. It's hot a little bit, but not too hot because if it's too hot, the chicken not going to cook well. So after a few minutes, I flip it over. And this is the second batch. This is my second batch that I'm going to add. It's time for me to take it out. I wish she was in the kitchen. You can smell how the chicken smell good. And my kids was really enjoyed right after school and they have this meal. So. And yes, this is my board. I have some beet salad. I have pickles. I have some marinade, I have some plantain, and this board with my black rice, and I have some sauce, 
So enjoy with my family. And if you are in the Jacksonville area, you want.